Hello, welcome to Unit 1 of the AutoCAD video series. In this unit, we're going to learn how to draw objects, how to modify them, how to print and set up drawings, how to use text, dimensions, all kinds of good stuff. Now this video, Video 1, is going to introduce you to CAD, what the screen looks like, where to find things, so that when we go to start drawing objects, you know exactly where you need to go. So the first thing I want you to do is to open up AutoCAD. When you do, you should get a screen very similar to what I'm currently showing you. Now this is what I call the Get Started screen. When you work with CAD, you're either opening up a new drawing file or you're opening an existing drawing file. A new drawing file is an empty shell. It's kind of like when you open a new document in Microsoft Word and it's blank. An existing file is a drawing that you've been working on previously and that you want to continue to edit. Now in the center of my screen here, you can see that I have many recent documents which are existing drawing files that I've been working on here and there. And you can simply just click on one of these and uh, it'll open and you can begin the editing process. Now if you want to open a file that's not shown here under the recent documents, uh, you can go here to where it says open files. There's a little file folder next to it. You can search through the documents on your PC to find the drawing file that you're looking for. Now what we're going to do, we're going to start a new drawing file. So in order to do that, we need to come up to the very top left of the screen and click on this big red A here. This is called the application menu. I usually refer to it as the big red A. So once I click you're gonna see that there's some options that we have available to us including the option to open existing files and again it's gonna list it here as well as um, the open file and here I can come to the drawing to open an existing drawing file. You're gonna find that AutoCAD has three or four different ways to do the exact same thing. Now for now we're just going to click on the new right here and my AutoCAD does this for me. I'm not sure if yours is doing the same thing. I have a feeling that a new window popped open for you and it's asking you to select a type of drawing file and the one that you want should already be highlighted. It's the ACAD ACAD DWT file. Just go ahead and click enter. For me, I'm going to hit return or enter on my keyboard. And we have a brand new drawing file. So yours should look exactly like my screen right now. In this new drawing file, you should have a black screen with a light grid in the background. This is called model space and it's where you draw the models of buildings, objects. Basically this is where you will be drawing whatever it is you want to draw in AutoCAD. Now do you see this little XY coordinate over here on the bottom left hand of the screen? This red line, this green line. CAD is based on a coordinate system and it's usually considered good manners that when you start to draw objects to draw on this side of the y-axis and this side of the x-axis. So this area right here next to the xy coordinate markers is where you want to start drawing. Now you see the application menu is still at the top left hand side of your screen. If we click on it now you're going to see that this actually is kind of similar to the file tab in Microsoft Word. If I need to print, if I need to save, save as, or even open a recent drawing file, I do it all from the application menu. Now outside of the application menu, right here, is uh, a list of shortcuts basically uh, that have some of the same features in the application menu. We call this the application bar. So if you hover your mouse over uh, any of the icons, AutoCAD will tell you what the button is. So this is a new, this is open, save, save as, and this is plot. Now don't let that terminology fool you. AutoCAD sometimes has its own terminology. Plot and print mean the exact same thing. Another important button is the undo button as well as the redo button. 
Now let's say you make a mistake while you're drawing. The undo button will essentially go back in time to the commands that you did previously and will undo what you have done. And as long as you don't make any changes, you can also redo the commands that you undid. Now I'll show you more on this later on. Now the plot preview button right here, that's kind of nice. It will show what it would look like if you printed your drawing as it shows. And you can also customize this bar. That's what this little arrow is right here. By clicking the arrow, you see a list of options that open up to you and whatever is checked is what will show up here in the application bar. I usually just keep it the way it is, but if down the road you want to customize it, this is where you go. Below the application bar is the ribbon. This is where you will go in AutoCAD to do pretty much anything. The ribbon is comprised of tabs. Each tab hosts different panels. The home tab hosts the drawing panel, which itself hosts many drawing commands. Commands are simply buttons that start some kind of process, be it drawing an object or modifying them, turning something on or off. The modify panel hosts modifying commands so that you can maneuver your drawing objects much easier. And you can click on different tabs to access different panels and commands. Uh, just by simply clicking on the tabs, you can see that there's all different types of panels and all different types of commands. As a beginner, you won't use many of these tabs, but you do get more proficient with CAD and you'll start using more and more of them. So go ahead and take a look at the tabs to get an idea as to what hosts what. Pause the video if you need to. Once you're done, please click back on the Home tab and proceed with the video. Now under the ribbon, you're going to see a couple more tabs. These tabs are the drawing tabs. You will see it, the uh, Start tab, that is the first menu that you saw when you first opened AutoCAD. So if I click on it, you'll see it's, you're taken back right there. The next one is the drawing that you are in. You're probably in Drawing 1. I'm in Drawing 2. This tab will stay as Drawing 1, or in my case, Drawing 2, until you save or save as and name this file something different. So if you want to think of it as something, this is the the file that you're working on, it's, it creates a tab for the file that you're working on. Now over on the right hand side of the screen underneath the ribbon, you're going to see the view cube. This is a square that has the northeast southwest around it. This is used when working with three-dimensional objects in AutoCAD. Now we won't be learning any 3D objects in this video series, so you're not really going to be using it at this time. Just kind of keep it there so that you can kind of understand that uh, where north, east, south, and west would be on the screen. Underneath the view cube is the navigation tool, which is basically a vertical bar. And this is actually rather handy as it holds tools like the pan hand that allows you to move along inside your screen as well as some of the zoom tools where you can zoom in and out of your drawing. Now we're going to go over these in a future video so we're not going to worry about it too much right now. And it happens from time to time that this bar gets accidentally turned off. And you can actually turn it off with this little X right here and see how it says close if I hover. So if I close it Oops, I accidentally turned it off. Oh my gosh, what do I do? Ah! Do not panic. If you need to turn it back on, simply go up to the ribbon to the View tab. Find the Viewport Tools panel and click on the Navigation bar. And when it's highlighted blue, that means it's turned on. When it's highlighted, when it's unhighlighted, it means it's turned off. So go ahead and make sure it's highlighted blue simple as that. At the bottom of the screen there are a few horizontal bars with information. The top horizontal bar is the command line or the command bar and this is one of the most important tools that AutoCAD has for you. If you don't know what to do when you're working with a command look at this command line it will tell you what to do or it will have options that you can choose from to complete the command that you would like. If for some reason your command bar is missing or goes missing, go to the view tab 
under the Palettes panel and find the Command Line button to turn it on or off. Notice if you hover your cursor over the icon, it will tell you that you can also type Command Line and the Command Bar will turn on and off. Now, when you're working with CAD, there's three kind of people. There's people who like the buttons, there's people who like typing commands, and there's those people who are half and half. I'm a half and half kind of girl, as are about 95% of the people out there who work on CAD. Some things I like to button, some things I like to type. It's all about personal preferences for you and what makes you quick and efficient with CAD. So there's no right way or any wrong way when it comes to working with commands. Now moving on at the bottom left hand side of the screen are three tabs. You should see a model, layout one, and a layout two. We are currently on the model tab and you know that you are on the model tab because the tab is highlighted and our background is black. Now if you click on layout one, it will take you to a screen with a gray background and a white canvas. This is called paper space. The general rule of thumb is that in paper space is for plotting. The white canvas represents the size of the piece of paper that you will eventually print on. The idea is that you build buildings in the model space at a one-to-one -one ratio or a one-to-one -one scale, which means every one foot I draw in model space is represented as one foot on the drawing. Simple as that. But if we try to draw a one foot line on an eight by 11 piece of paper, that one foot line would go off the page. So CAD is so awesome that we can take the drawings that we draw in model space that are drawn to scale, one to one scale, and we can scale them down to certain sizes so they fit nicely on the piece of paper, like quarter inch scale, one eighth inch scale. We'll get into that in another video as well, but this is where you go if you need to go to paper space, and this is the tabs that helps you toggle in between model space and paper space. On the right hand side is what I call the settings bar. As I am drawing objects, I can use these settings to aid the drawing process. And again, we're going to go into this area on a future video, but for right now, this was all you needed to know to get started working with CAD.